Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today, uh, in this progress video, we have made landslides of progress, so I'm really excited to share. Uh, yesterday, when we were uh, essentially mapping for Squidward, uh, that would be Eater of Worlds progression, we were like six dry on our ashes. We got our Ashes of the Stars on kill number seven. Uh, the reason why I want to bring attention to this is in SSF, very hard for me to like deterministically say craft uh, a plus one marble amulet with desirable stats. I mean, I guess, you know, after maybe like 50 reforged fire, it might end up occurring, but I want to bring attention to Ashes of the Star and why. Um, so I got this off our seventh Squidward kill. First off, it gives plus one all gems, which is really huge in general for like any build or spell casters. And then it also gives the quality and the reservation efficiency. As you guys know, I like to go fast. 20% um, quality on shield charge is like 20% movement speed with shield charge, which is really big. Um, second thing is the quality affects your RF and your fire trap as well. So that's like 29% uh, burn damage essentially for both of them. It gives skill effect duration to your molten shell. It gives uh, extra AOE to your infernal cry. Um, it gives, uh, it, what is this, also increased quality, which is aura effect on your defiance banner. Nonetheless, Ashes is a very good piece, but there's more. Um, so yesterday we also redid, uh, we dropped out of bestiary. I have about six uh, suffix to prefix bestiary, and I went into blight. Now, the reason I went into blight was because I wanted golden oils to uh, anoint charisma. So I'm going to change from arsonist to charisma which is located right here when i do this swap i'm going to drop my infernal sorry i'm going to drop my enduring cry and then whenever i do like spooky bosses like maybe maybe in 10 ways and stuff i'll put enduring cry back in instead of infernal cry eventually when i do get my legacy of fury i would like to drop infernal cry permanently but i don't have those yet so tldr i'm mapping with infernal cry and spooky bosses i replace infernal cry with enduring cry Right, um, so by anointing Charisma over here and divining my ashes to be at least 18%, I can fit in Skitterbots. Um, Skitterbots is really big because it gives number one, a shock multi, and number two, um, it gives trap and mine damage bonus, which affects the burning ground of your fire trap. So the damage is comparable to like a 50% aura, but it's like what, 25 or 35%? Second thing is because we have an Ashes of the Stars, I need to replace my flammability, which is right here, with an elemental weakness. Because flammability gives increased duration and elemental weakness gives extra minus res. So those are another two big things. Um, I'm waiting to, uh, before I level up those gems. I'm just going to try to vol two more fire traps at chance at 21, and then I'll level an Ellie weakness here and I will level a uh, Skitterbot right here. And that also opens up the room for alternate quality, but I'm not really a big heister. Furthermore, um, over here in our Harvest tab, we have a pig-faced bassinet, which is an Elder 84 helmet. Um, I could technically spam craft this, but I'm not in a rush yet, so I might get a better base. So for now, we're leaving this. But if I can't find another helmet, I at least have a helmet to mess with. Uh, and then over here, I've got eight Essence of Horror just waiting. So, uh, Must have time to gather I've been running Rusted Blight, Rusted Elder on my Tier 16 maps while doing Maven Witnessing. Uh, as you can tell, I am like full Maven Witnessing right now. The goal is getting Maven down in, I think, maybe one to two days. So the reason why I decided to, say, run this type of content... Excuse me. Oh... Oh, I don't have my exit lag up. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Oh my. Um. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Let's just uh, restart real fast. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Let me just uh, let me just boot up my exit lag right now, or else I can't play Poe. God, I hate how that's a thing for me still. Uh. So anyway, just to kind of talk a little bit more, the reason why I chose to run um blighted, like blighted zo maps with blight in it instead of blighted maps is because if I am farming a blighted map specifically, I am not actually progressing. Um, I am not progressing one, my Maven Witnessing, and I am not progressing two, 
the ability to get like an elder helmet i mean you could i think if you're really really lucky you could get an elder base helm from blighted maps but i feel like it would be a bit more consistent running elder scarabs not that it's really common i get anywhere from like zero to two elder pieces per map but all you need is just a helmet right so it could be on the worst base possible and you still have a helmet Harvest, okay. Okay, man, we got a lot here. Right, let's go right back over here. This looks kind of spooky. So I'm just going to do a support here with a stun. Let's hit next. This looks like a really good spot, so I will put a support tower here with a double stun. Upgrade you. Right, and then over here, we could use a support tower here with a stun and a stun. Perfect. You could also be a stun. Upgrade you, upgrade you, upgrade you. Very nice. getting too close to my pump yeah yeah i know cassia but my frame rate is like fucking zero wait i think my game literally just died oh my god people told me that i would lag really bad using these towers but i did not realize that i would lag to the i think i'm dead i think i'm gonna die. infernal cry i literally can't move wait my character is t-posing wait what what GGG, can I have some optimization, please? Um, well, hey, my uh, gems are ready. They're level 20. That's uh, that's good to know, right? My character's T-posing. My audio just broke. I think my PC shit itself. Um, my video is still working? I think it is. Interesting. I don't think I've ever lagged that bad in a blight before. Like, ever. Like, in the history of me playing PoE. <laughs> Holy shit. That was the most gargantuan lag spike I've, like, ever had. Well, I guess that's not true. My explode setups have had uh, worse lag before. What is... What? Okay. Yeah. Um, are you dead? No? Okay. Right, uh, I wonder if I can fix my audio. Maybe if I uh, if I just like open up a portal and come back. Will that fix it? No, I think the audio is permanently fucked until I restart. Anyway, that's you'll be okay, right? We already basically heard stuff. I just turned off an echo shrine. Whoops. Yeah, so that's pretty much been the progression. So right now we are working on getting those new gems, which I can get like basically right now. I just have to go uh, quality those fire traps and then fall them and hope for 21. 21 fire trap would be pretty awesome. It'd be like another 100K DPS. I think with my Ashes of the Stars swap um, and uh, Skitter bots, we're looking at potentially over two, 2 million Awakener DPS once I get my RF helmet crafted. It doesn't really matter if I put RF or Fire Trap in there. Both of them are pretty much uh, going to get similar results off it. So I guess if I get Conk Effect on my helmet, I'm putting uh, Fire Trap in it. If I don't get Conk Effect, I'll probably put RF in it. All right, there we go. Perfect. Yep. Well, that's pretty much going to go conclude this. I have to go finish up that stuff off stream. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, we're also pushing level 97. So if you guys enjoyed the progression today, feel free to hit that follow button. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow.